Carpenter and I'm gonna show you what I wear in a week. Okay, this would probably be my most comfortable studio look. I spend most of my time in life at the studio. If I'm not on set, I'll be um, writing. I think vintage t-shirts are what I live and sleep and breathe in all the time. This one I just found in New York uh, a few weeks ago and I'm obsessed with it because it's half Rihanna, half Eminem from um, the tour that they went on together that I was not privileged to go to, but you know what, we live through the shirt now, so it's good. And then this bag and also this jacket are both from Nell. I found this jacket like a miracle. It just like stuck out to me and it's been a staple in my wardrobe ever since. A black leather blazer you can never go wrong with. Then we have the jeans, which are also like my staple. I wear these too much, but I think they're super dope because the way that they button, they have this like weird little cross button, the repurposed garment. And then these shoes are also really fun. And the funny thing about being in the studio is that I will take these shoes off. I will take this jacket off and it will probably just be me in a t-shirt and jeans so I can be comfortable and write some songs. I think shopping vintage also means finding pieces that are really one of a kind, especially when I can find like a t-shirt with like an artist that I love or it's just a funny graphic. Like every time I'm traveling internationally, I always try to go to different thrift stores around and find pieces that really feel one of a kind. This would be what I would consider an event look. Some really cute accessories with this outfit, which I love that I think really tie it together. Um, these jewels by Marlo Laws. The necklace says Port Bonaire, which means lucky charm. I have a tattoo, it's my only tattoo that says lucky. Uh, and it's just always been a really special word to me for a lot of different reasons. And it's my birthstone as well, Taurus. Hey, how are you doing? Comment below if you're a Taurus. And then this little bag, which I love so much. It's also kind of like, a mint green lives in the world. My favorite thing about the look is just how effortless it feels. And I think there's something really important about feeling effortless whenever you can. One of my worst event wardrobe choices, <laughs> and my fans will never let me live it down, was this gold dress. I was like 15. We all have our moments, good and bad, it's humbling. The bad moments are so humbling. And then one of my best wardrobe moments, I once wore this pink, Celine dress to a Women in Music event and the carpet was also pink. Some looks age well, other looks don't. I think this one is kind of guaranteed to age well because you can't go wrong with black, very classic look. This look is really giving belly button cleavage and honestly, I'd wear this to Whole Foods. So I feel like event or grocery store, you know, produce aisle. I feel like I'd make a friend in this in the produce aisle. This is my next look, and I think I would describe this look for me as coming out of a pandemic and now everyone's doing lunch meetings in person as opposed to on Zoom, so now you're dressing up more than you normally would, but it's still casual. Put that in writing if you can on the screen. I think there's something really comfortable and easy about a slip dress, and a huge part of my everyday style is taking a cool statement piece jacket and throwing it over that. The shoes are these Jimmy Choo thigh high boots. It's up pretty high, like my, I'm five foot tall, so the boot is my leg. And this is a Celine bag, and they're all 50 shades of brown. <laughs> it's giving fall, it's giving autumn. Okay, so this would probably be something that I would wear on a date night. This is an Anushka suit, black leather pants. I guess if I'm going on a date with you in leather pants, I'm already in love with you, but I always would dress it up with like a white Louboutin. I think these are kind of my go-to shoes for everything. A lot of my fans see me wearing white heels with uh, most of my looks just because I think they always somehow tie everything together. And then this cute little handbag, which I love, which is a hunting season handbag. You know, to carry gum. What else do you need on dates? Ooh, that's PG-13. It's so great. So this bag carries it all pretty much. And yeah, it's something I feel really confident in. One of the most important things about 
I guess a date night or just in general, like going out with friends, whatever it would be, is to just feel like a more accentuated version of yourself. I love menswear. I'm a huge fan of suits and this is, you know, vegan leather, which I also love, but just something I feel super comfortable in. I love the little tube top underneath because it's just very simple and basic. Yeah, and I think it should just like make you super comfortable to be yourself. All right. This is a very quintessential Sabrina look, but just some of like my classic staple pieces are in this look. Basically, turtlenecks have uh, been a huge part of my life as a staple. When I was little, my mom used to wear them all the time and I always used to make fun of her and I was like, why are you wearing that? It makes you look like an old lady. I was a mean kid, I guess. I think I hit like 15 and I was like, I love these. This is actually my staple bag. I kind of take this everywhere, it's Louis Vuitton. Little black belt I think is super essential to just have. This is Neely Lowton and this is a little vintage Burberry skirt that I found. This is actually a coat that I found when I was scouring the internet. It's Charlotte Simone. The last way I would like kind of spice this up a little bit is I would change my flat boot into higher boot. Just for you, Vogue. Just in case you didn't think I was like extra. Now I am. Here's my coat. <laughs> and then for the belt, you can obviously keep it undone. But I think I'm gonna tie it. Wow. Now I look like I own an empire, you know? Or like I have like six kids and a nanny. I love this because it's giving Almost Famous, which is one of my favorite movies. I also take a lot of inspiration from like iconic female movie characters in general when it comes to like creating fun looks. And then I love this jewelry, it's by Jamie Wolf. The little hearts are something that I kind of put throughout a lot of my wardrobe. My nails obviously have little hearts on them. I like love, you know, who doesn't? It's a fun thing. All right. If I was um, so lucky to be invited to a party, then this is what I would wear to a party. So many things I love about it. One, it's like just this little mini dress, but the dress itself is like a bit of a number, which is fun. Dressing it up with some tights, my classic staple, black Louboutins, can't go wrong. It's being in Davis little bag to hold lint air. Uh, credit cards. Because you have such a statement piece of a dress, you don't have to do too much to dress it up. I think something that I really try to channel when I'm going to parties, because I don't love going to parties, I think they're very scary. So I really try to wear something that makes me feel bold. I think this dress is definitely like a piece of its own, which I think just makes you feel more confident in one of those settings. And it's very fun. It's like playing dress up and I loved playing dress up as a little girl. So now I just do it as a big girl. And yeah, I think this is what I would wear to a party or even just going out with friends for the evening. I actually have a lyric in a song that said something about like lips and souls being red. My lips are not red, so we're gonna ignore that. But I do love a red soul. And I think especially with the black and white look, it just popped, you know what I mean? Like if they didn't see the dress, they definitely saw the red soul. So either way, they're, we're gonna talk. Now I'm on my way to the airport. This is my airport travel look. It's the most comfortable outfit I've literally ever put on in my life. I feel like I'm in a cloud. The tracksuit is by Wet, which is an all black owned designer that was started in the pandemic to uh, benefit garment workers in New York. These sneakers <laughs> have been worn many a times, as you can tell. And then I would probably like do a little sunglasses moment. These make me feel like the Matrix, kind of. I really do like to travel with my own pillow, so that's a huge reason why I usually have a big bag. So this look I would best describe as something that I would either wear in the travel van on my way to set before I get into my character's wardrobe, or if I'm on tour and we're you know, traveling from one city to the next in the bus, just cause it's super cozy and I don't really have to think about it. Like the top and bottom match already. So a lot of the work is done for me. It's monochromatic, it's, it's a vibe. And that is everything I wear in a week. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.